Parmesans in a row after this, our Christmas Parmesan and our end of year Parmesan. Yes. It's a lot to look forward to. Very happy with it. Yeah, here they are picking their, their characters. I didn't exactly see what they said. It looks like we've got the Roy and... I was like, yeah, another Wii Fit. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this goes. This bump. Psyched me up for a second there. How many Wii Fits does Neo have? I know, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, but I think they started PS2. It didn't seem like they did any rocket scissors and whatnot, so they probably just gentlemen's to PS2. Three, and I was two, right. All right. One, go. Now. Oh, all right. I guess this isn't a button check. <laughs> Wasn't yeah, sure for a, for a split second it looked like it might have been, but uh, we are getting into it. Not much for a uh, grab off Squirtle yeah. and Zero, honestly. I was going to say that. It looked like they both kind of flubbed up at the beginning. And now they're like, all right, let's restart. We're we'll reset neutral. I like the patient play coming out from both of them. None of them are trying to push too hard against the Yeah, they're, just, they're sort of feeling each other out. Yeah, making sure they're maintaining what stage control they have, not giving it up too freely, not going for any crazy extended combos. Right, but it looks like that strong back air is going to send Squirtle far off stage. I'm glad he switched there. It was a little scary, you know. PT, I mean, Squirtle, Squirtle versus uh, Roy. Roy can just kill so early. Oh, yeah. 91 is Squirtle against a Roy. That's just asking to die to almost any little thing. Yeah, but uh, he did switch to Ivysaur, but it's not seeming to work out for him too well. Uh-oh. Back there. Whoever takes this stock first is going to grab a good Ooh. bit of momentum for themselves. Wow. Yeah, Atlantic they can hold on to it. Yeah, it looks like they're both playing very, very conservative. Oh, yeah, that's it. That will be enough with the Rage, especially, to take out that first stock. It probably feels a little bit trapped on the Charizard at 113%. Yeah, I always think this is one of my favorite things to do when I see a PT player. I'm like, are they confident in their neutral with Squirtle? Will they go back, try and get those extended combos, or are they going to stay for the survival pool? It's cool right because there. there's the risk reward. You get a grab with Squirtle, you could tack on a free 50%, but uh, if you get hit by a back air, that's it. <laughs> yeah, and that's actually what I was going to say. At 140, I feel like you might as well just go Squirtle. You're going to die to Roy regardless. Even if you're Charizard, you saw that back here just explode him. It wasn't even close. Definitely an uh, argument to be made there for sure. Yeah, they're both at relatively even percents, but he is in advantage state right now, and Ivysaur advantage state is nothing to laugh at. Ooh. Almost gets that downer, but just mistimes it a little bit. I like that. Ooh, that was really good. Showing a bit of matchup knowledge right there because very nice a jair. raw full hot back air. Purple Rose saying, "Yeah, you may have took the first stock, but the second one, it's mine." I was gonna say that I liked the uh, the raw dare that Ivy Sword did on the ledge, so that it left him with more options, able to throw out the back air if he wanted to. But uh, oh, very nice. crazy catch on that normal getup. And a kill with Squirtle. Most, most PTs are just too scared an outright to kill, too. Yeah. No game. Ooh. That was dicey. If he hadn't managed to interrupt that Ooh. F smash, that probably would have been the game. Yeah. Ooh. Crazy read right there. He was in his soul to be ended. Yep. Purple's just like going for these hard reads, and they haven't quite panned out yet. Yeah, he has a very hot and cold play style, it looks like. You know, he takes his time in the neutral, but once he's committed to going in, he goes in. That could have nice been a big throw. punish. Purple Rose maintaining this lead okay. You know, not letting himself get you know, snowballed. Oh, is and that that? landing side B mix up is not going to kill. Thank God, because that was kind of crazy. Manages to time the upbeat to get through the blazer there. I like this platform movement from Purple Rose as well. He's, you know, not mashing too hard. He's just doing his jumps. Oh, no sweet spot. Uh-oh, is he dead here? He's also mixing up where he is on that vertical axis. Oh, no. Oh. Fell a little bit. Three jumps and it wasn't enough.
And that's going to be an anticlimactic end of game one. Oh, I run out purple. Better options on the whole stage list, to be honest, for him. Really? Because that, that, that Roy counter is going to kill him. Like that side B, double edge dance. And it's just not a good stage to take Roy to. I mean, the punishes can be big, but uh, you can also adapt to the stage for your neutral. Like, that, we saw how Purple Rose was mixing up his vertical height to discourage things like Flare Blitz with Charizard. But once the platforms go away, oh, right. hard to Looks do like that. they're running it back. Picking that nice slow timing, you know. Ooh, well, that's the trap. Really nice. But, Gets know, a little patience, goes straight into the up B. Feel like that could have been optimized better. Yeah, Darkness is, I mean, yeah, Darkness is missing these jump punishes that Purple Rose. Seems like he always jumps back to stage just like that, you saw. And I'm wondering if he's just taking his time. Some people like to save things like that, or if he's just a little too scared to, to Not push that far. Not to the combo place. game, maybe. It's hard to say. It's very unusual to see a Squirtle at zero just down throw up B and th not throw anything in between. Ooh, ooh, the rolling F smash. Yep. That's gonna kill. Yeah, the distance was just a little wrong there. Normally that uh, Ivy Store F smash is really good at covering rolls off the ledge, but he's just too close to it. Yeah, but uh, Darkness taking the stock immediately. It might have been a mess up by Purple Rose. He went above ledge, which I feel like Ooh. almost never This is a jab reset, but then. Um, yeah, yeah. Fun yeah. Yeah, I think people have an autopilot of, you know, just going for the jab block, but sometimes not punishing it or not reacting to the fact that they actually hit it. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It looked like he was reading a roll in and didn't that, realize that's that it. he got the jab. No jump, but he still makes it. Really good. Really good ton of recovery right there. I think that's uh, underrated, how good tether recoveries are. Man. Some tether recoveries, for sure. I don't know, man. They have a bad tether recovery. Velma. Who? Velma. Simon and Rick. To be fair, <laughs> they're just bad characters. <laughs> yeah, rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neither of these players deciding to quote unquote well, just limit got themselves. some Clash 4 neutral going on there. Yeah. I like how he waited. He didn't just go for the back air. A lot of people, you know, get scared to jump right there. Even though Darkness Oh, this could be it. a the platform. Oh, wow. Nice, nice guy DI. for Purple Rose. And the counter. But the spacing from Darkness, that, <laughs> that tip and that, the tail. That super hipper strong. Charizard back air, if such a thing exists. Oh. The approaching counter? That's crazy. Yeah, he got punished for that. Yeah, that was really cool. risky after you. Especially when it, when Darkness has been pretty passive. He seems to try and whiff punish a bit more than he does to approach. Likes to land with his right there, that falling up there probably a good example of why he's staying Charizard in this instance. It's easy to picture either of the other characters being dead to these wow, last two neutral Wow, look right there. That's crazy. I thought he would have just dropped shield and killed him. That up throw isn't going to kill. He stalled it too. Yeah, and his Charizard. Yeah, he's better off going for a DI mix-up or maybe just a stage control throwing him yeah. off the stage. Honestly, I would have said just stage control. Just throw him. Throw him. Yeah, F throw is never going to kill, but at 190, it's going to send him pretty far and you have a good uh, edge guard situation. Yeah. Oh, man. Another miss. But that was a crazy cross-up from the get-up attack. He was just a bit too close. There's he didn't the lose too Finally much killing. percent there for as long as that Charizard managed to hold on. So. Yeah, Purple Rose did a really good job of not letting himself take too much percent. He's at 45, but that's pretty much nothing compared yeah. to what could be at. Yeah, we didn't talk about it, but 195 percent, that's definitely max rage. And Charizard can easily cheese out a stock at that point. So like, there's actually in quite a bit of danger if he didn't close it out. Ooh, that falling up there miss. Squirtle, you know, low profile. Just by existing, it's kind of crazy. Purple Rose manages to land. Going for an interesting grab right there. Not gonna the cost him. Now, what I want is Darkness to just safely pressure Purple Rose a bit more. 
it seems like he's he's keeping the same place, the same pace that he's been this whole time. Very slow, methodical, neutral. You know, he's he's not trying to steamroll Purple Rose. He's at 127. Purple Rose is just acting like he's in the driver's seat right now. You know, those air dodges coming down. And That's and gonna side, be it. Rage almost. And the pop off from Purple Rose. 2-0. Coming in. Sliding into first.